Dr. Durr. I'm a professional mycotoxicologist and a member of the Agrarian Solutions team. I'd like to give you a few pointers about mycotoxins that are important for you and your customers. Mycotoxins, the chemicals produced by molds growing in feedstuffs, are harmful to dairy cows and other animals. Too often, we assume that if one or more of the few mycotoxins we actually test for are not present, that the animal is safe. But more than 2,000 mycotoxins are known, and they occur with a greater frequency than you might suspect. At least 100 of these may have critical effects in dairy cows. Of the many surveys and summaries of multiple test results that come out virtually every year, almost all find that typical agricultural samples contain at least 10 mycotoxins. And in some surveys, nearly 80% of the tested samples had more than 20 mycotoxins. 10% had 50 or more. Co-contamination of dairy rations by multiple mycotoxins is not a rarity, but rather it is commonplace and you should expect it on every farm you visit. While most of the research done is attempted with only a single mycotoxin, multiple mycotoxins pose high risk because these chemicals are very interactive. One toxin can increase the severity of another. This is called synergy. And three or four or 10 working together can produce effects we cannot hope to predict. The response of an animal to any given mycotoxin is dependent on breed, age, gender, current physical condition, stress level, sickness, and so forth. While one cow may tolerate or even thrive at a particular mycotoxin level, her neighbor at the feed bunk may stop milk production, quit showing heats, or even die. While every mycotoxin has its own particular action in an animal, all studied to date show negative impacts on the animal's immune system. When a farm seems to be higher than normal in rates of illness, has more cows in the sick pen, and needs more frequent visits by the veterinarian to try to control that, it is often the presence of chronic mycotoxin poisoning that has made that herd so vulnerable. If every animal absorbed every molecule of mycotoxin it ate, we might not enjoy such a vigorous animal agriculture as we do today. But animals have an inherent cellular mechanism in the intestines to control complete absorption of these poisons. When the herd challenge is sufficient to overcome that mechanism, we can give it a boost. So despite all those mycotoxins, there is something you can do about them. Let's summarize what we've learned. Mycotoxins are a numbers game. There are more out there than you'd likely believe, and there are considerably more in the cow's rations than you've been led to understand. Actions of individual mycotoxins are important, but more important is what they do when several are together in the cow's ration. And the extent of that effect depends on many variables. So don't fixate on some mycotoxin report number as meaning the herd is safe. Animals always take a hit on the immune system. Their health and resistance will be harmed. But those same animals have a means to combat feed-borne mycotoxins. Time is too short in this video to explain it, but you should know about it and you have only to ask us.